awesome, awesome, awesome surprise. And and thank you so much for that. Thinking about us, we appreciate it. Yeah, we're all about giving kids chances and giving the opportunity to do something with those chances, and I think that's what we're doing today. Hey, we do. that's not one, two, three. I think the impact that the field has had on the city of Piedmont is what it does for our community on Friday night. We're a football city for sure. We've had a lot of success over the years with football. So it brings a good crowd into the city. We're a small town, so we don't have a lot of industry but we have people that will come into the city to watch a football game. They stop at all fast food restaurants, they purchase gasoline. So there's a lot of sales tax and money that come into the city because of Friday night football. This has always been a blue collar town. Everybody here is tight knit. Everybody pulls for each other. It's just a, a laid back, quiet, area out in the country, a lot of beautiful scenery. You're just gonna find a lot of people that are just good-hearted, good people, give you the shirt off their back type of folks and, and go out of their way to make sure that they extend hospitality to you. Putting a football team together is kinda indicative just of the personality of the people in this town because everybody in this town works together as a team. It definitely helps to be successful. It definitely helps to win games. When you get small town football on a Friday night and everybody comes together from all walks of life, it bridges a lot of gaps. I, th I think it was very successful having this field coming to being after the 2009 football season. I hear people say, well, why do we need that? We're Piedmont. My answer is, well, why should we not have it? What's going on here since I graduated in 75? You know, we played at the old high school, played on an old grass field, didn't have a practice field, had to get on a bus and go down to the YMCA and practice. Coach Smith came along the last 16 years, has been excellent for Piedmont in the community and, and just garnered a lot of support from the community to see them succeed. It's huge to the city of Piedmont, you know. Football is really big in our city. Friday morning, it starts with breakfast and then you have uh, the pep rally. It's a festive activity. You could rob any bank in the town because the whole police force is here. And matter of fact, one time when we were playing the, the state championship, our McDonald's burned down. Uh, and I think they had to call in some people from surrounding areas. We've had a lot of success here. I know that people get tired of hearing it, but that really is a team effort. We have such a supportive administration, faculty, our booster club, our community, they come out and support us. I've been very fortunate. A lot of trusted and, and valued assistant coaches that that are extremely loyal to this place. And the biggest thing, you know, is just the, the outstanding kids that we have. It's always excitement. You always come in with an expectation that this is our house and you're gonna know it's our house. All of us make these shakers. Mine personally has rhinestones. It might fly off sometimes. Every video you see, I'm shaking that thing as hard as I can. When you win and you're successful in football, it makes the school year go much better. <laughs> and I've been very fortunate in my tenure of nine years that we have been very successful uh, in, in the football arena. We looked up to those guys that won championships before us. So, you know, we're like, man, if they can do it, we can do it. Coach Smith getting you to play for him and, and mental toughness that he instills in you is, is incredible. And then as a person, he loves winning ball games, but it's more than that here. It's about, you know, being a great person in society. Kids growing up in the system have seen winning, they've seen things done the right way. Personally, Coach Smith means a lot. He's always been there for me. He's always tried to keep me on the right path, always giving me words of encouragement. And as a coach, he's one of the best coaches to ever do it in Alabama history. Game day in Piedmont right now is really special because I'll walk into any game away or at home feeling like we had the opportunity to win that game. And most of these games we do win. 
this town centered around this field. It's kind of the highlight of the town. Every Friday night, everybody's gonna come together and just support the team, pull for the Bulldogs. In 98, 99, the Boost Club went to the local bank here and we borrowed $100,000 to build this field house. And now with field turf coming along and, and those kind of things happening, we're able to direct our support more to the kids in uniforms and travel. We try to give them the best of the best and, and that's, what, that's what our goal is. The relationships and the friendships that I've been able to develop over the years with the salespersons that was in charge of our school, in particular, Jamie McDonald. Jamie's become a good friend and he's always been an advocate for us. And Field Turf has done an outstanding job of making sure that everything that we needed, we've been able to have. They made it a priority to want to be in Piedmont. And like I said, we're just a small rural town in Northeast Alabama that's off the beaten path to most folk. And when we knew we were going to have to replace the turf this year, because we had played 11 years on the previous surface, it was my desire that we would go back with Field Turf and we'd be able to make that partnership continue. And I just couldn't ask for a better group to work with. I remember my oldest one talking about there was a thing that y'all had put down in the middle of the locker room and um, he was like, nobody steps on it. We're not stepping on it. I mean, it looks too good. A lot of what you see at this place, you know, would not have been possible without the time and investment made by people named Mike Pody, Charles Givens, Vernon Young, and several others. But those three guys really stick out in my mind because they were up here with me a lot of times to 10, 11 o'clock at night. They probably never got the credit that they deserved. I'm, I'm indebted to them and I'm grateful to those guys as well as anyone else that come out here and help. We're known as Piedmont University to be able to show the rest of the state, hey, this is what you can do if you invest in schools, you invest in kids and give them good things to be successful with. Piedmont is very similar to a college facility. Places I've traveled to while playing at West Alabama, I mean, Piedmont is, is above. The facilities, the film room, the turf, everything is just is top notch. It's definitely a big, big ordeal to get to play on new turf, especially as a kicker, having that foundation to kick off of and get to practice on it. It's a big advantage to, to have as the home team and play here. Of course, they took off. You know, the old turf, we played 11 seasons on it. This is 12 years old. They did some small grading work, repaired a few things, and I mean, it looks great. I didn't really realize the amount of just tedious work that goes into making sure that everything looks perfect. I thought it was kind of, let's just roll the whole thing out. And it's one, one thing, and they're stitching the letters together, stitching all the pieces together. It's a whole process um, and those guys have worked they've, they've worked their tails off you can tell like just from now just how much more color and stuff is to it i mean it's gonna be really nice even with the old turf like i've played all my peewee home games all the way up and now i've played on it but i mean being able to go out on a new field it's pretty crazy it's gonna bring a lot of uh impression on me because i'm gonna have to step up now everybody in the past had a chance to play on a new turf like this this is my last year i'm gonna do it on the new turf so we're gonna do it right we're gonna have an undefeated streak on that new turf right there we've won 2019 2021 and this is my senior year we've got one more year to do it uh we wanted to, to win all four years of high school but three will work so if we can win this one it'll be it'll be special soak it in you're blessed and grateful because there's guys before you that's laid the groundwork, laid the foundation that you get to go out there and compete at such a great place like this. And you know, that sense of pride, like, hey, I went to Piedmont and, and I got to win a championship with my brothers that I've, I've played with my whole life.